Christmas trees, carol singers, Christmas cards, Father Christmas, and Christmas crackers. Integral parts of a traditional Christmas. But why? Well, it's thanks to the Victorians. Before Victoria's reign started in 1837, nobody in Britain had heard of Santa Claus or a Christmas cracker. No Christmas cards were sent and most people did not have holidays from work. The wealth in technologies generated by the Industrial Revolution of the Victorian era changed the face of Christmas forever. Charles Dickens, a sentimental do-gooder, penned the iconic A Christmas Carol in 1843, urging wealthy Victorians to spread the joy by giving to the less fortunate. These radical middle-class ideals soon spread paving the way for a new way of celebrating Christmas. The holidays became a two-day extravaganza for the middle-class families, thanks to the newfound wealth from factories and industries. Boxing Day earned its name as the day when servants and workers opened boxes filled with gifts and money from the affluent. The advent of railways even allowed city dwellers to reunite with their rural roots for a joyous family Christmas. Now let's talk gifts. In the early Victorian days, handmade toys were a luxury for the rich. However, the magic of mass production in factories birthed affordable games, dolls, books, and clockwork toys for the middle classes. Poor children found only modest treasures like apples, oranges, and nuts in their Christmas stocking. Father Christmas, dressed in green, originally belonged to an English midwinter festival celebrating the return of spring. Meanwhile, the tales of St. Nicholas arriving with Dutch settlers morphed into Santa Claus in Britain, complete with his reindeers and sleigh. Christmas cards, a delightful invention, sprouted from the Penny Post in 1840, allowing people to send greetings anywhere in Britain for just a penny. Turkey, once a rare feast, became a Christmas staple by the end of the century, making the long journey from Norfolk Farms to London tables. And who could forget the Christmas tree, made popular by Queen Victoria's German husband, Prince Albert, who introduced the tradition to the masses in the 1940s. Lastly, the explosive joy of Christmas crackers were born in 1846, when the London sweetmaker Tom Smith added love notes, paper hats, toys, and a satisfying bank. So next time you pull a Christmas cracker, or hang a bauble on the tree. Remember the Victorians who wove the magical tapestry of our beloved Christmas traditions. Cheers to the joy they bought, echoing through the centuries.